everyone, and welcome to this week's review. I am Prue, joined by Mr. Mighty Mango, as always. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. So, we went to Achieve Fest. We did. We actually got to meet each other in yeah. person. And So, we are now in real life friends. Yes, we are no longer just fake friends. Yeah, so suck it, all those people who said that. Yep. And by all those people, I mean just my roommate. But you can suck it. <laughs> um, I do want to apologize, actually, um, we uh, last week we weren't able to get our review out on time due to my crazy hectic schedule at work so sorry about that um but yeah it wasn't my fault no not not mango's <laughs> fault at all uh but uh so sorry about that but here we are with this review and we hope that we make this one extra special for you guys because today we are reviewing etherborn what is etherborn etherborn is a puzzler platformer uh developed and published by alter Altered Matter. Um, I cannot speak. Altered Matter. Um, it went on sale July 18th, 2019 for the price of $16.99. Okay, so yeah. So this is a... I guess you'd just say that it's a first-person platform puzzler. That's how I would def define it. It's not really first-person, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to say first person. I, you're, now I can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't even mean to. Why did I even say that? You're right. It's not, even, it's not even close to first person. Don't listen no. to me. Uh, I guess you'd call it isometric. That isometric, but the background moves around kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's a puzzle platformer and based entirely on, um, I guess, kind of a gravity si situation, right? Where you, um, depending on what side of the cube or the or the of the terrain you're yeah, what, standing on what's, what plane you're on depend determines where their gravity is right so there are um so there are certain areas where you can shift from the side of the platform to the top or the bottom or whatever and there are certain ones where you can't so if there's a curved surface you can walk you can transition uh, onto different sides of the surfaces if not you'll fall right off um and the entire game is built around that mechanic so what did you think? What did you did you have a good time with it? Well, it, you know, when I first loaded up, it's pretty, it's kind of pretty and kind of ambient, the kind of ambient environment. I, I guess I would call it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not really much content. Yep. Kind of, kind of. You know, I'm gonna run. You start off and you run around. The the world turns around and then you get to the end of that level and you get an achievement. And then you load up another level and you kind of do the same thing. It's a little bit more difficult puzzle. But rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a bit of a dull game. Um, really, the goal is the the same the the entire way through. Uh, each level, there's like these glowing orbs that you pick up that will activate parts of the level. And yeah, but they're not a collectible. Let's make that clear. No, no, they're, no, they're no, just no. something that they're like they're like keys for a treasure chest. Basically, you need them to to open up the next way to go. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you do that until the end of the level. And there's, I'd say, what, six or seven levels, maybe? I think, I think. so. About that. And uh, you do that for each level. And they get progressively more difficult. But there's nothing crazy, terrible hard here. And then uh, you beat the game. Um, it's very simple. Uh, I don't know. It was just kind of dull for me. Yeah. Yeah, there's no real... The only mechanic is turning the world and running. Did you yeah. ever just walk? Yeah, because sometimes you f I forgot that the, I think it was Trigger. Yeah, Trigger makes you run. Yeah, um, and if you just walk, you move at a glacial pace, and it yeah. becomes incredibly infuriating. Yeah. Fortunately, even you do have running, the, the running. The running's not fast enough. No, no, <laughs> not even close to fast enough. So there's some sort of a some sort of a story, but I didn't, I, well, I guess I had to the, do with The story is you are a voiceless being that has just been born into a world where the bodiless voice awaits your arrival. Yeah. As your so, first thoughts emerge, you realize your journey has just begun. You must reach this erythral voice to fully understand your own existence. Dun dun dun. <laughs> that's straight off their website. I, bl I that sounds about right, and there and the the actual story is filled with sort of nonsense like that. Um, there may be more to it than I was paying attention to, but I was honestly just trying to get to the next level. Yeah, I, the, the the game is so boring that it's kind of just. Meh. Is, is the end there? Nope, not yet. Okay, I got to turn this way. Turn this way. Is it in there? Nope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't even mean to say that. I, I don't think it's a bad game. It's no, just it's, very slow. Yeah, it's not It's not a bad game. It, it really isn't. It's just there's nothing really to it. Yeah. I guess it's kind of... the Even the, the 
the flipping of the worlds and the gravity stuff. I mean, we've seen it in other games, um, but nothing. It's it didn't do anything new, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, and what it did, it's very bare bones, and there's just not a, there's just not a lot of meat to chew. Like you said, I I would say I wouldn't say it's an ugly game. It's a no. it's a it's pretty enough, and yeah, uh, I think even the music is soothing. I don't know. It feels like the game is designed to put you asleep in a lot of ways. <laughs> like, uh, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> it's so relaxing. It's just like uh, the the visuals and the and the audio is very low key. There's no <laughs> urgency to do anything. You can I'm just, just thinking of the play there. testing for it. Oh, let's see. Let's let's turn up this ambient sound a little bit more. Ah, uh, yes. Half our subjects are asleep. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. So let's talk about the achievements. Well, basically, you play through each level and then you get an achievement and then. Uh, you get to play after you beat the game. You get to play through it again. In uh, new game plus mode. Is, yep. is, is, game it's plus. Called. Game plus. Yeah. Um, here's the thing uh, about game plus mode. It is functionally identical to the first game. Uh, I say functionally because there are a tiny, minute differences. Uh, so the first level, for example, uh, when you go through it the first time, the uh, the golden glowing orb. Or, or whatever you need to, to beat the level is um, it's kind of like on your path. It's, it's right in the way. You can't kind of avoid it. When you play New Game Plus mode, it is slightly obstructed by a bush to the left. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they're very similar is all I'm trying to say. It's almost ah, seems... I found where you were. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you, you couldn't see it that well, but it's... Um, it's it is very, very, very similar to the point where I guess if they're calling it Game Plus, because when you play New Game Plus mode, usually it's the exact same game. But in this type of a game, there's when you're not carrying over any sort of abilities or um, stats or anything like that, and you're playing puzzles you've already completed, ha- they have to throw something in there to mix it up. Uh, there's not much difference. I mean, we're talking a 5 to 10% difference in puzzle solutions. And... I just, it doesn't feel like it justifies a whole second And playthrough. there's a guy that'll tell you exactly where you have to go anyway. Yes. Yeah. So that's so the thing. For achievement hunters, there is a guide. Yes. Uh, the, the golden, the silver lining, I was going to say golden lining. The silver lining of this game is that it's very quick and very, very easy. Um, you can get it done in probably two hours-ish uh, for both playthroughs and, uh, and then be done with it uh, if you follow a, a solution. If you don't, Maybe an hour more, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say probably say yeah, maybe hour, hour and a half more, depending on your puzzle ability skills. Yeah. Uh, nothing is too challenging in the game, for sure. No. But if you want to zip right through this game, you definitely can. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else to talk about? What no, I mean, I mean, yeah, and it's fairly easy. I mean, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe people are just getting falling asleep on it. 96 gamers have played it, and 34 com- have completed it. It's not that hard of a game. It's like a 1.5 game right now. It really isn't that hard yeah yeah i mean if you're if you're itching for 1500 ta uh you can get that very very quickly and very very easily but the uh the other aspect of it is it's, you said it as before it was 17 dollars, which is i think i think a bit too much. much yeah too much probably a 10 dollar game i'd say yeah i think 10 dollars would be fair i mean 16 16.99 so 17 dollars seems high yeah um, it's one of those, it just feels like one of those games that I'm not going to remember playing this in a month. No. I'm going to, there's no aspect of this. I'm going to be like, oh, I, I enjoy it. No, it's going to be like, what? what? What was that game? Yeah, and then I'll watch a finished? YouTube of oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch a YouTube clip of it and I'll be like, uh, I guess I kind of remember it. It's just, it's one of those games that's going to fade into, uh, you know what? It's, it's going to fade into the ether. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll stop there. I think that's I think okay. so. <laughs>